Hello, I'm Andy McDonald of Queensland Museum Network and here I am again at Cobb Co Museum in the factory and today I want to talk about something I often get asked about by the public. They want to know what the bearing is inside a wagon wheel. So I thought I'd go through a few samples that we have here and talk about the development of the bearing. In Australia, we imported a lot of axles. This is a good example. This one here is an axle we found on a local farm, a German farm. It's a British axle from Great Britain Stourbridge, which is up in the Black Country. Um, most of them do have stamps on them. And you can see here that the bearing or the wheel itself was held on with a linch pin and a collar. And then the box came off. You can see a very tapered axle that allows for wear, but also side thrust. And so this cast iron box is pressed into the hub. And you can imagine the size of this hub, fairly substantial number, and the linch pin to hold it on. This one here is even larger. This one is off a logging wagon, a huge wheel, and it would have been pulled by bullets. But there was a range of sizes and there were catalogues of them. This is a catalogue from Sears Roebuck and it lists the sizes and the various styles of, of boxes. We don't know quite what the word box means, where it came from, but it's just the standard name for them. Interesting point is made here. We cannot furnish boxes only, nor axles without boxes. What that's saying to me is that they're a matched set. You don't want to be mixing axles and boxes up because they might not be the same angle. So these were sold as a set. This is an, a sample that I've been working on. It has a grease cap. And instead of a linchpin, we have a nut. Now, that's a left-hand threaded nut. The upper opposite side of the axle has a right-hand nut. So this one goes on the left side of the vehicle. This is on the right side of the vehicle because the rotation of the wheel has a tendency to tighten the nuts up. And for that reason, you don't push a vehicle backwards very far because the axle, sorry, the nuts will come undone.